So hey guys, welcome to my channel, Long Time No See. I've been out for so long, but today I'm come back and I will talk about Tiny Red today. So if you don't know what Tiny Red is, it's currently the newest movie from Disney. And honestly, I love this movie. I went into this movie with no expectation at all because my friends, Ray Rocks, watch the movie. My friend, do I? They both watch the movie. And I was like, okay, I have to watch it. And I watched it on Sunday, I bet. And I... Oh my god, and oh my god, I freaking love this movie. And I have to make a video about it. So today is the Tiny Red movie review from the perspective of an Asian kid. I think that's how the video is going to be. And like I said before, I watched the movie with no expectation. And after the movie finished, I'm just like, okay, this is my newest favorite Disney movie right now. I said that with Ankendo as well. <laughs> And I, I really want to make a video about this because number one, I'm Asian and there is so many re representation of Asian in this movie. Yeah. And I just want to talk about like how much I relate to this movie. And second, I think this is like a unique movie. Yeah. There is a unique direction that Disney took. And I in love with this direction right now. I have like this feeling like when I watch Luca and Kendo and right now Tiny Red, like this newest Disney film. I think it's like they're heading to a direction where they will actually want to show as like the representation in the uh, movie. And I think they're doing pretty well. So those are the reasons that I really want to make. And this is going to be a part one of my four part series review for Tiny Red. I really want to make like an overall review, but like, I really want to like hit those like specific like parts of this movie. So this is the part one. So in today's part one, I really want to like give you like my thoughts and opinions about this whole like representation and also like when we want to talk about like how much I relate like what things I can relate as an Asian kid and part two is going to be about the characters and it's going to be crazy yeah <laughs> so yeah let's talk about the representation of this film and how I feel about this yeah and also if you're new here please consider subscribing yeah, it will have my YouTube algorithms and everything yeah so yeah let's go so to be honest I really didn't have like any expectation for this movie I have watched like the trailer before and I thought it was like a monster university type the movie I was like okay I didn't know it was a representation film I didn't know the main character was the Asian I literally didn't know so as soon as she introduced herself like okay I am an Asian and then they show like the pictures of like mother and father and her family I was like okay so we have Chinese main character I'm starting to get curious about this and like as soon as she introduced herself and also like her friends at school right from the back I see diversity yeah and I love this. Like, we have so many characters with so many traits. And also, it's really easy to spot these, like, character. We have Priya, we have Miriam, we have Abby. Oh my god. And after that, she started talking about, like, her school life. Yeah, and how everything. Yeah. And I was watching this and I, okay, this is kind of very relatable. And then after that, she took us to our, like, families and her temples and everything. I was like, oh no, the level I can relate to is immaculate. <laughs> the level that I can relate to her is immaculate at the point. I'm not a Chinese kid, but like I can relate to this because I've studied Chinese when I was 10 and also like after my matrix, like school year finished. When I was 17 and 18, I also studied Chinese at the Chinese temple, at the Chinese town. So I know what the day-to-day -day activity of the Chinese temples looks like. Yeah, and I can really tell like how they make this like part of the town like Toronto like Chinatown I think like really lively and also like really fit with the like real like places yeah and I really like that because it's kind of like that yeah in my country in my town the colors are like the same though the, the red the balloon the candles oh my god those scented candles we have in my house as well and the, those are the things that I can relate and already like I see representations and I think Disney this quite well and it's not like Disney's like frozen as to like okay here's the representation you better watch that like, it's not like that she's just showing her like everyday life and all of her family and with this narrative you kind of get like the buy for the whole movie and also I believe it or not like the thing that I relate to the most is like the pigeons I started Chinese at the like Chinese temple at first it was all red and there were so many pigeons <laughs> and we have the, the, this like huge water bowl and with plates around it and these plates have like so many rices and like in the super early in the morning like there's gonna be so many pigeons around that huge bowl of water yes like that's how the, that's the thing that I can relate to the most yeah but the thing that I don't really relate is like the the whole like red panda things because I've never seen a red panda before <laughs> so so this is like the thing that I don't relate but other than that like everything's fit yeah okay so next I'm gonna talk about like how much I can relate to Maylin and what things I didn't <laughs> so as an Asian kid who started super hot in his academic year I can relate to Maylin quite well but there was something like that I really don't 
relate that I really can relate. Yeah, I for example like the drawing thing. <laughs> and when I first saw this, I was like, <laughs> okay, okay, this is weird. This is weird. Like, do you draw someone? <laughs> But like it's a golden, I bet it's like thirty years old gold, so it it can't be a golden. And also like this movie is based around like two thousand two, so like I can relate to most of the things. But I can tell every girl in their thirty has done this. I can tell that. And after like her mom saw all these pictures, <laughs> she was like the skeptical clap from Daisy Market. I was like, that's I can relate. Like literally, like if my mom saw saw me doing this like picture then. <laughs> She's gonna kill me. She's she's legit. She's legit gonna kill me. And the next thing I'm gonna talk about is her relative and her grandma. <laughs> I love that bit. Oh my god, I love the bit. Like so glad they put it. The entrance. That that's the entrance. That's the Asian entrance. Yeah, that's how my auntie came to my house. Yeah, <laughs> my auntie's gonna be like they come in and the first thing they're gonna ask is like, oh my god, you look skinny. Have you not eaten anything? <laughs> Like, that's the first thing. That's the first thing they're gonna ask for me. Like the second thing they're gonna do, is they go to the kitchen and they're gonna be like, "Oh my god, look at this kitchen!" And if the kitchen's really clean and like nice, they're gonna tell their daughter-in-law like, "Oh my god, you should do like this. Like look at this kitchen. Like, like that's what they're gonna do. Yeah. And if the kitchen's really bad, hmm, no, they're gonna like talk to do my mom. That's the whole thing. Yeah. So the the anti scene, I can relate. Okay, so I've been talking for so long. Okay, uh, so the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is like the full town theme. The main character, these groups, the squad, and he has a fun goal for this wife and called full town. And I love the bit as well. And then as he has a fun goal, the fans. Oh my god, the fan collecting tips. They are collecting their fans for this ticket in the school, and like the ticket is like, oh my god, that's a lot of money for them. Like. I really liked the bit. I watched this movie with like literally no expectation at all, and I come back with like freaking obsession with this movie. Like I'm not even joking. Yeah, uh, I love all these characters. I will talk it. I will. I will make a part two real quick up tomorrow. Yeah, there's so many things that I can talk on and on about this whole representation diversity part of this review. Yeah, but like I think what I said is enough. I think because I've talked for like literally twenty three minutes. So, <laughs> so, I have to stop. So yeah, this is just me trying to talk about everything I loved about this movie, Tanny Red, and yeah. Uh, so if you make it to the end, I and if you enjoy it, please consider a like and subscribe, and also hit the notification for part two, three, and four. So yeah, that's for today. I hope you enjoy it, and always be safe and be healthy. And bye.